to create believable 3D environments, and to meet the demands of everyday challenges for a 3D artist, you need the right tools and the right assets. So allow me to introduce you today to Glow Plants, which is an excellent resource for environment artists, VFX artists, and so on, providing you with quality nature-focused assets, which are in high demand by everybody, maybe including you too. Glow Plants is a website that provides and sells collections of high-quality plant-based 3D models, and here I'm talking about everything foliage related, such as trees, grass, flowers, you name it. These assets were made by experts in the field with many years and years of experience in 3D modeling, product visualization, a knowledge of various plant species that grow in different atmospheres to create some of the most lifelike and top quality 3D models. All of these assets also come with pre-made high quality realistic textures, which are ready to be rendered right away. Now let's put it to test and discover some of their collections and species of plants. The website offers bundles and collections of assets from all the different areas of the world, and they are sorted by region and types. For example, regions like America, Africa, and Europe, and asset types such as trees, aquatics, and grass, and these are also divided into things like agricultural plants, interior pot plants, or the ones we can find in the wild. And usually each bundle comes with a collection of different plant types, which are centered around one theme. For instance, we have a bundle of Hawaiian-based plants or Japanese ones. I think you got the idea now. This means that no matter what sort of environment or region we want to base our seeds on, Glow Plants most likely offers a collection for it, which is amazing. This is the case thanks to their wide range of shapes, seasons, and species to fit any scene. Let's take for example the region of Asia. We can find plants exclusive to specific regions, like the iconic sakura trees in Japan, but also plants that are widespread all over Asia, such as olive, lemon, and strawberry fields. I went through some of their assets myself, and I believe they are excellent fit to any kind of environment or mood we are going for. And in terms of quality, believe me, they are really good. And this claim can be supported by the fact that the industry is using it, proving with partnerships they have with companies such as Kaios, the company behind V-Ray Render Engine. So Glow Plants offer high quality versions of the assets if you want to use them for example for VFX or advertising production for example. But they can be hardware intensive and they may not be suitable for stuff like video games, which is why they offer another option, which is low poly models or versions of the assets. So depending on what you're going for, you will find a solution. Now, how can these assets be used? Well, for anything to be honest. These packs can be used in so many ways and for a lot of fields, such as VFX, video game development, architectural visualization, or anything for that matter. From an art point of view, I would recommend using collections from one region only when working on a certain project, because generally speaking, it is how they usually grow. I mean as families of plants, but of course, you can always spice it up with assets from other regions left and right to make it look beautiful, because most of us aren't experts when it comes to plants. But being precise could help us ensure a certain level of consistency and to make your scenes look more appealing. From a technical point of view, as we said, high poly assets can be challenging to work with when it comes to low spec machines which is why it can be a great idea to use low poly models or assets in that case. I mean in the case if you have a low spec machine. In terms of formats, they also offer countless of file types. As we all know, importing the right 3D models to your software can help you avoid headaches from incompatibility issues or having to do manual adjustments. We can for instance download the Blender version of the 3D models I mean the nature assets, or we can find the assets with the textures already being assigned in the correct spots, meaning that we can instantly get creative with them, instead of assigning the textures manually, which no one wants to do to be honest. Similarly, we can find the file formats for all popular 3D packages such as Max, Cinema 4D, and SketchUp, just to name a few. You can also download more generic file formats that can work with any 3D software, such as FBX. And as a way to avoid confusion, their website also has a guide section 
to find out the best file formats that could work best with your 3D software of choice and to avoid any potential issues. Price-wise, there are many ranges that the website offers and it all depends on how many assets the pack has and how complex they are. But in general, the big bundles are priced around $150 to $250. Let's take a bundle that has 10 assets as an example. It comes with 93 unique 3D plants, while some other bundles have way more assets, which in my opinion is a good return for the money, knowing how hard it is to model or to acquire these sorts of assets. But for those on smaller budgets, and if you just need small ones, the website also offers small collections of assets, ranging from $30, $50, and so on. It's just packs of trees, grass, flowers, or all sorts of plant-themed elements. And if this is not enough, the surface goes even further to the next step, which we'll discuss next. So, as we have previously seen, the website offers bundles from all different regions of the globe and I can see them fit any type of environment, at least in my opinion. But what if all of this is not enough? What about if you want something a bit more specific? Well, they have you covered too, because they also provide a custom request service, and it works as follows. You start by picking one of the two services they offer. Here, I'm talking about either requesting customization to an existing model or the creation of new ones from scratch. It depends on the context, however. Maybe you have your own ideas and you want totally new models, or maybe you already like ones from their library, but you want to change some details to fit your needs. After that, you begin by submitting the species you would like to be created, accompanied by any photo references that you might have. And then, it is just a question of time after their team of experts reach back to you with multiple drafts for reviews. Following that, you can provide feedback for any necessary changes, and once the edits are made, the revised versions will be sent to you for approval, and then final designs will be delivered to you directly. There are multiple prices and licenses of their service, as we can see on the screen, and it is up to you to pick the one that suits you best. However, this service I think is for studios and firms who really need some help and need experts to do it for them. Now, for those who are less comfortable with the environment creation process, or even 3D in general, they also offer an active and dedicated blog to teach all sorts of techniques and to get to know some of the plant models better. For example, they have a step-by-step -step guide of how to add wind animation into the Globe Plants models in 3ds Max, with the help of GrowFX plugin. By the way, you can use it to edit the assets if you download the GrowFX files. You can also find other articles to learn about the plant types, for instance, their characteristics and geographical features, as well as how they could be used for us to get a better idea about them and to know how to use them more efficiently. Let's take as an example the article about Japanese Maple 3D models, where they went over how they can be great for adding striking colors and adaptable growth to your environments, along with a full overview of where they could fit best and how to place them best in your 3D scene, as well as pieces of advice on how to get the best lighting setup for them, and many more things. Generally speaking, it is a little nice addition to the website, with a lot of valuable knowledge. So make sure to check it out for further information and details about some bundle collections. So guys, if you are interested in this website and what it has to offer, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.